Now joining us live is Dr. Swiso Lovu, who is the Chief Executive Officer of the Zimbabwe Teachers Association, and we're going to be discussing this issue further with him. Dr. Lovu, reports of ZIMSEC exam leakages occur almost every year. As educators, where do you think the problem is stemming from? Um, uh, the issue of the examination malpractices is getting out of control and that we are reporting year in year out that there is a leakage of our examination we are likely to end up with a credibility challenge of our examination system now your question is where do you think this is coming from let me start from the learners and say with the learners sometimes this is out of panic and unnecessary anxiety when they want to succeed and get those grades that they want to get and in particular at least to come out in flying colors that alone can drive a learner to want to cheat but then let us look at also the contribution by the educators. This is the worrisome part because it is impacting on the credibility of the teaching profession. And this is where we need to address it from a professional point of view. That is a bad thing. When we look at the institution, then it is the issue of security. How secure are the papers before the examination date? And we look at the general, the whole institution of the examination branch. How secure is the delivery of the examination papers? Right from setting it up, up to printing, these are issues of security that we must address. Now, Dr. Ndovo, what do you think is the way forward in this case? I think one of the issues that we need to address clearly is to improve on what our examinations are intended to do? Are they going to be used for competing students to, to one another? Are they going to be used for the selection process in order to attain better and advanced qualification? It is the purpose of the examination that it drives the end result. We must address that area. Uh, in my view, it is important that the examination system must address the intellectual development of the learner such that we bring out of the learner the best capacity of them to contribute at whatever level of uh, the life or economic life of the country. That is what we should address. Take away competition for the sake of, then we bring in competition for critical thinking for the learners to succeed. And that is very important in our view. Then the issue of uh, the security, we now need to really to improve around the custodianship of the examination scripts right from the examination center itself. And that way we may reduce the impact. If we improve that, definitely we may see a better uh, improvement in terms of how the examination is managed and how it is secured and how it is delivered to the learners. Thank you so much for that. That was, of course, Dr. Sfiso Ndlovu, who is the Chief Executive Officer of the Zimbabwe Teachers Association, giving us his views and pointers on what can be done to prevent future leakages of exam papers for O and A levels. Now stay with us. News Plus is back with more news shortly.